The Beaver Lake Fire Department is planning to lay off nearly half its full-time firefighters because of budget issues. And tonight, the department turned to the community for solutions and concerns. 5 News reporter Michael Wilson was at that meeting, which had a pretty big turnout tonight. He joins us live with what came out of that meeting. Micah? Well, Erica, nothing was decided tonight. It was mainly to hear from the community and get their feedback. But yeah, the meetings did start at 7 and it ended little after 9 with nearly 100 people filling the room, standing room only. A full house at Lakeside Baptist pushing for more firefighter funding. We're dealing with a shortfall of approximately $370,000. And we're a third of the way into the year. Um, so we made some difficult decisions. Decisions include laying off four out of the 10 full-time firefighters come December and cutting the chief's salary by seven and a half percent. Why didn't you just come to everybody and tell us what was happening rather than just make a plan without us? The community fired up about the decision, citing a lack of communication possibly costing 7,000 people longer wait times. Years we've trusted this board to do what's best for this community. For years. Okay. Good. No longer. Prior to the possible increase in wait times, the department's board considered becoming a fire protection district. But we believe that would be best for our community. A fire protection district normally changes the organization's structure and possibly requires additional funding. But many say that was not communicated nor discussed. I've lost trust. A lot of these people have lost trust. What, tr what happened at the board, the chief, was a big mistake in the way that it was handled, okay? I actually believe your motives were genuine. Genuine in asking this question and trying to keep the community safe. How are we going to fund the fire department? Because we were having difficulty attracting and retaining firefighters. Yeah, and while looking for firefighters, something that was brought up is volunteer firefighters. So they actually tell me and said during that meeting that no one applied within recent months to become a volunteer firefighter. Also, in this story, you heard a lot about the fire protection district. Well, that was already shut down a while ago, and now they're looking to move forward and figure out how they can keep the department running. For now, we're live here in Benton County, covering news where you live. Michael Wilson, 5 News.